my name's Ranger Ariana. I am a education ranger here at Zion National Park. And today I wanna share with you a very special craft uh, to celebrate Bat Week. Uh, here at Zion, we have 17 different species of bat and um, they're all amazing in their own way and really important pollinators here in the desert. Uh, a bat can eat between 500 and 1,000 insects in one hour, so they're doing us a huge favor by being out and eating those insects at night. Um, and no reason to really be afraid of them either. So I'm gonna share with you a really fun craft. Uh, we're gonna be making uh, coffee filter bats to celebrate our bats this week. All right, so to get started on our clothespin coffee filter bats, uh, we're gonna have, we need some materials. So what we're gonna need is some markers, washable markers, our best um, permanent markers will not bleed as well on our coffee filter. We will need a coffee filter, of course, a round coffee filter like this that you flatten out. And then you're gonna need some scissors. You're gonna need, of course, some clothespins. Um, and I have a little piece of paint cardboard here just to help hold those clothespins while we paint them. We're gonna need some paint brushes, some black paint, or um, and as well as maybe white paint or white a uh, white paint pen is also a good option. Uh, some glue and some googly eyes if you have. You can also just use your paint or your paint pen to do the eyes as well if you'd like. And then of course a surface um, that you can get dirty and a spray bottle. This is very important for this project. So now that we've got everything together, we can get started. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take that uh, coffee filter that we have and we're gonna kind of flatten it as best as we can, kind of get it all flat it, flattened out. And we're gonna take our markers, our washable markers, and color just some, some squiggles, some uh, you know designs. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I chose colors that I felt were bat-like or Halloween-like. Um, so you can do whatever you'd like, uh, use whatever colors you want to use. Um, I just thought these were nice for our bats. So once we've done this, and it's not, it's not gonna keep its detail, so it's not, you do not need to be too um, crazy about this, but you are going to do some designs till you get something that looks kind of like this. And then we are gonna put it down on that surface. Um, you want a surface that you're gonna, you're gonna just leave it to dry on, and it also will probably get a little stained with, with marker, so you know, nothing, not your fancy uh, kitchen table. All right, so I'm gonna spray our coffee filter a little bit here. You wanna get the whole thing wet, but not soaked. Um, so if you see what I've done here a little bit, I might spray this part right here a little bit more, um, but that is it. Then I'm just gonna let this sit. Uh, it is so dry here at Zion that this will dry in just a couple hours um, so I can come back and finish my project. But in the meantime, while that's drying, I am going to take these clothespins and you can do as many as you want. Um, you can do multiple coffee filters. Like I said, you can make a garland if you'd like um, out of these. And so that would be really pretty to hang up. So our clothespins, I put on this uh, cardboard here and I'm gonna take our acrylic paint that I have here and one of my paint brushes and I'm going to paint our clothespins black. Um, I have already painted a clothespin and it has dried, so we'll just go with that for now. But you would just, you know, paint your, your clothespins, just give them a nice coat of black, um, you know, try to get all the sides and stuff like that and let it dry. Uh, so after we've done that, this has dried, let's say our coffee filter has dried as well. So now we're gonna have something like this coffee filter here. Uh, so what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna first fold it in half and then we're gonna fold it once more into a quarter. And once you've got something that looks just like this, this little kind of triangle thing, uh, we are going to then, these are gonna be our wings. So we're gonna cut our bat's wings out. So what we'll do is we'll take that scissor and we're gonna kind of make some scallops. You can draw on it first if you want, so you know what to do. I'm just gonna kind of free it, freehand it, but basically you'll do kind of some rounder shapes with points to be our bat's wings, um, like this, and then maybe one more in here, 
and there we go. So, um, of course, don't litter if you're outside. <laughs> We're going to make sure we collect all of these um, for all the animals out there. And then we're going to open up our coffee filter and you should have something kind of like this. Now you're going to leave it fold, folded in half. So you're going to have something like this. This is our, these are our bat wings uh, that we now have. So now that we've got our bat wings, we're also going to cut a little slit in our bat wings. So you're going to cut it kind of from this bottom point up maybe about halfway. So I will take my scissors and do that cut. And then we're going to move to our clothespin. So we'll put this aside for now. And now that we've got our black clothespin, we are going to um, maybe draw it, whatever you'd like. I glued some googly eyes on this guy and drew a little mouse with fangs with the white paint. Um, it can be silly if you're a better artist than I am. It can be a little bit more realistic. And I think, you know, a paint pen will probably do a little better job, but totally up to you. Whatever you have in your house will work. Um, so now that I put this on, we're going to also let this dry theoretically, um, but mine's already dry. So we're going to put them on our uh, coffee filter. So what we're going to do is take that bat, we're going to open our clothespin and we're going to put it all the way up into that crack. And we're going to kind of adjust the wings um, a little bit so it looks kind of just like this. Um, so and there we go. There is our little bat. Very fun, very cute craft to have hanging around the house. And like I said, if you want to make a whole bunch and string them on a garland, um, that would look really pretty for Halloween. Uh, or you can just kind of hang these up around the house, which is really fun. Put them in the windows as the light shines through them. They're really pretty. Um, another thing you can do, this craft can be done all year round because it doesn't just have to be bats. You could also make butterflies if you want to. Uh, so that's really fun and it's easy and a cool way. Um, kids will love to watch these colors bleed. Let's see how my... Uh, coffee filters doing now it's looking pretty good we're gonna leave it longer and let that dry but um, it's a lot of fun and this is a great way to celebrate bats and to uh, thank them for all the incredible things that they do for us and eating all of those insects so thank you so much for joining me for this video I hope you have fun making your own coffee filter bats um, and we'll see you next time thank you